George Showground. The action, oval track racing. The event, the final leg of the 1992 SA Oval Track Racing Championships, hosted by the George Motor Club. They came from all over the country, pitting their special brands of skills against each other, determined to triumph in their particular class. The Slash was in a class of her own. Start of the four-cylinder modified saloon race, with Swart's finely tuned machine tearing away to the front of the pack. As number 50 Jakob's flat foots it to the next bend, opting for the outside line, in the hope that he gets through first. The crowd glued to their seats, anxiously awaiting drama, which was shortly to come. With a twist and a crunch, the scene was set for a dice between Swart and Farrell. The latter being gently laid to rest in greener pastures, and Swart's determined bid to stay in contention only to be challenged by yet another competitor in his quest for the chequered flag and vital points needed to ensure overall victory. Negotiating the thirds required another kind of skill. Negotiating the bends at speeds in excess of 100 kilometers per hour required sheer concentration and a will to survive to the end. Men and machine, pushing towards the rev limit the motors will allow. And Ronnie Gordon Graham in C7, the Opal Cadet, powering his way to victory, sliding it into the last bend to take the chequered flag. And the crowd were awestruck. Then it was the turn of the midget class. The dice on between Blechno, Puertas and De Toy. All three drivers well placed on the points ladder. They were bent on one thing, and that was victory. Bluchno pulled away and left Bordes and Dutoy jockeying for second and third positions. But Bordes staved off the challenge from Dutoy and gratefully grabbed second spot. Sliding his way through the next corner, Billy Delaray in H11 enjoyed a dice of his own as the field of cars hurtled through like foxhounds on the hunt. Moving at incredible speed, the leaders soon left the rest of the field biting the dust. Lipno in his supercharged midget broadsiding through the next bend in spectacular fashion. With Puerta snapping away at his heels. Yet another attempt by Puerta to overtake on the outside with Lipno managing to hang in. And yet again, another Puerta's challenge. This time, the tighter inside line, and Puertas does it. With an incredible turn of power, his midget snakes its way down the main straight. With half a lap to go, Puertas had it in the bag. Only the checkered flag in sight, it was Puertas' race. Sundown drawing near, it was down to big business as the American V8 saloons made their long-awaited final appearance with their gas-guzzling carburetors set to thrust them into oval orbit. The race was on. Leading into the first bend was a decided advantage in getting away from the rest of the pack. Festooned with an array of protective armory, the drivers flat-footed it on every straight. If you were in the way, a reassuring nudge from behind would remind you to make space, man, make space. A combination of Chevrolet, Nissan, Camaro, Mustang and Mercedes-Benz added to the pulsating excitement of the series with a combined total horsepower on track of some 3,000. Topping the points ladder at this stage were Fondamarva, Lombard, Burkett and Fontini. Lazarus in the yellow Camaro comes to grief. A burst back tire and disastrous consequences as he is unceremoniously bundled off the track. The duel for honours was on between Tiart's blue Camaro and Nick van Rensburg's Mercedes-Benz. Tiart's sizzling pace had to be maintained to ward off a looming challenge from second-placed van Rensburg. Precision driving was the order of the day, where horsepower and torque curves are the name of the game. For others, it was a bumpy ride, with 
Peterson and Putter mixing metal, gravel and machine. And yet another duel. Johan Putter, Panna Freyland in 8.55 attempting the outside line. But coming back just too late, allowing Putter to slip through. Tiart, it was the white flag which meant one lap to go. Driving a stunning race. Mills also hanging in there, making a last ditched attempt to finish in the placing. But alas, it was Johan Tiart's race. And he took the checkered flag in fine style. Results in the American saloons, Andrew Fontini, first Norman Burkett second and Cunny Lombard third. In the midget class, F. Krobelar, followed by Dani Buertas and followed by Mostert. The modified saloons won by Jesse Huggett, followed by Ronnie Gordon Graham and Johan van der Westhuizen.